Hey, what's up, guys? I've got another Steelbook unboxing for you. This is the um, Best Buy exclusive, um, A Quiet Place. Um, I don't. This, it's, this cover's okay. I think it's the same image that's on the regular edition, but uh, I was a little disappointed when I saw this. Oh, that's embossed, actually. I'm a little, little bit more impressed, actually. I did not notice that at first, that that's embossed. But uh, I did get this. Um, I don't think they even had a 4K option, but I wouldn't have cared either way. But um, I haven't seen this film yet. As you can see, I did buy the steel book. I bought it right when it was announced because I knew I was probably not going to get a chance to watch it in the theaters because this is a film that I would have probably not wanted to watch in theaters because of the... Well, it would need to be quiet, and I'm assuming that was difficult for a lot of people. I was hearing horror stories about people with their, their popcorn and shit or whatever the hell, and I thought it would be more more of an enjoyable experience to watch at home. I'm sure it would have been enjoyable to watch at home in a nice theater surround system if you had good cooperating audience members, but... um. You know how that can go. And this is the backing. There's the description if you actually want to read that, but I think everyone knows the story. And there's the special features. Directed by John Krasinski, which is awesome. Jim from uh, um, uh, The Office. Can't read. So, oops, there we go. Quiet Place, and there's the embossing, or debossing for the, uh, the little cuts, or slash marks. That's kind of cool, actually. Now, I like it a little more now. I thought that was just a plain... It is a glossy finish, which some people don't like. I think I tend to like them more if they're clean. But uh, if they hear you, they hunt you. I think that would have been nicer if it was just a plain bold background, but I don't know. Platinum dunes. Okay, there is a digital copy there. Looks like it's still U um, ultraviolet, too, so that's cool. And it's... Um, what do you call it? Uh... uh Paramount, so it's just a blue and a gray disc. There is the Blu-ray disc, which is blue, and then the DVD, which is just plain gray. And the background, I guess, is just kind of reiterating the front. More slash marks. So, that's kind of lame, but whatever. I don't see any dents or cuts or anything, so that's pretty cool. I'm excited to watch this. I plan on watching it pretty soon. Like I said, I, I, I specifically didn't watch it because I thought it would be difficult. This is the digital copy of the back of it down here. That's, otherwise, it's got um, Annihilation, Arrival, 10 Cloverfield, push, I can't read, 10 Cloverfield Lane, and Ghost in the Shell. I've seen all four of those, and in order of goodness, I would say Arrival easily, then Annihilation, then 10 Cloverfield Lane, and then Ghost in the Shell. I didn't hate Ghost in the Shell. I don't know if I've mentioned this. It was okay. I, the controversy surrounding it with the gender bending, or not gender, but the uh, racial identity, it made sense in the context of the film, but I can see why it was an issue. But, uh, it was an okay film. It was an unnecessary film. It was a really beautiful film, I suppose. Very well done, but it was an unnecessary film because the anime is so good, so... Just gonna stay. Yes, okay. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I will have more of these to do in the future. In fact, maybe one more right after this, so maybe. We'll see. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you again in the future and all kinds of places, so... That's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye.